Welcome Scorpios, I'm back. Happy to be here with you guys today. We're going to take a look into February, see what energy is coming towards you guys, okay? So keep in mind, guys, these energies can't be vice versa. This could be your energy. It could be someone around you. It could be the partner, someone that you're dealing with. It could be a work situation, okay? Just take what applies and what does not apply. Don't try to make it fit, okay? Um, if it does not resonate with you guys, check your moon and your rising signs, okay? Your message could be there for you, all right? So let's see. Give me an overall message for Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio. Oh, no, that's too many. Give me one more. I feel like you guys are standing up for what you believe in. Um, some of you, you're standing up for something that you've built. Okay. All right. Let's see. I feel like you've been something there's been a delay or something is in the air or you are waiting on something okay you're waiting on you're waiting there's something that you want to say with throat chakra okay maybe you miss maybe you feel like you don't fit in with a certain group here I got um, partnerships and alliances and material and financial changes okay so there could be like a project or something that you are working on that's i feel like is on hold and is holding you up there's delays here okay i feel like the first card that jumped out we got stand your ground okay so you could be trying to you know <laughs> fight this out you could be trying to fight this out, okay? You're fighting this out, but there's something about a firm foundation here, okay? There's something that you guys are working on, you guys are building, but there's some type of delay, okay? And then we got disruption, okay? Something could possibly be in the way. This is also the Tower card, which is the card of Scorpio, okay? But there's something that you're trying to keep from falling apart, okay? You're trying to stand your ground, stand up for what you believe in, um, and... You're trying to build this firm foundation, okay? Look at this person. It's like building something off of somebody's back, okay? Let's see what's going on, Scorpios. Y'all come with me. Let's go. Scorpios, let's see what's going on, okay? What's coming towards Scorpios for February, okay? What's coming towards my Scorpios for February? Scorpio. Yeah, for Scorpio. Ooh, okay. Quite a few juggling, juggling a couple of things here. All right, some some changes needs to be made. Okay. You could be contemplating on making some changes. Okay. There could have been some juggling going on. We had the Three of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. This could be a group, a social group, okay? This could be juggling three people. Three or more people. This could be hanging out with friends. All right. We got the Six of Cups, okay? So you're thinking about the past. You're looking over the past. This could be involving children as well, too. Like, you could be thinking about your children. We got the magician. You're trying to manifest here. You're manifesting something here. Trying to manifest something. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, your focus is on, is on being successful. Okay. You're being, you're trying to, okay, I'm getting that all the attention is on you. The focus is on you. Okay, we got Queen of Swords going ahead, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, I'm getting like a marriage, okay? 
I'm picking up on a marriage. We got the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, which most definitely can signify a marriage or a long term, something that is built, something that you've worked on, something that you want to leave behind as a legacy. But I'm most definitely feeling like you guys are working towards something um, successful here, okay? You're working towards something successful, Okay, I feel like you guys are getting a lot of attention from uh, everybody. Three of Cups and the Six of Wands, everybody is noticing you. You're like a celebrity, like everybody, all eyes are on you. Okay, everybody's talking about you and what you have going on. And you're feeling on top of your game. Okay, you're feeling on top of your game. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Three of Swords, huh? You might be feeling like you got to watch what you have to say because somebody might try to twist your words. Be careful. But with this Two of Pentacles and this Three of Swords and this Three of Cups, I don't know. Like, I just pick up that there could be like a juggling act going on here. Multiple people from your past. Maybe you're getting attention from a lot of people from your past, okay? A lot of people from your past is trying to resurface and showing you all of this attention. Why is the Three of Swords here? Yeah, somebody wants a second chance after there's been a heartbreak or some a breakup. Somebody comes back from the past and is wanting a second chance. Why is the Six of Cups here? <laughs> And, and somebody's spying. King of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Energy. But you can have some, some. I feel like all eyes are on you right now. Like, you got a lot of people watching you. Why is the Magician here? Whew. You had a decision that you had to make in the past. Oh, I feel like there's some type of disagreement, some quarrels or something going on. Somebody was not most definitely not not happy about some disagreements. Maybe you're trying to dodge a bullet. So you had to make some changes. OK, you had to make some type of decision. I feel like all eyes are are on you. Six of wands. Six of wands. Oh. We got the devil. Capricorn's energy. Ooh. I just feel like you guys are trying to manifest something here, okay? You're investing in something, okay? I feel like you're looking for, a, a you planting some seeds, okay? And you're most definitely looking for a harvest. You're trying to build, you're trying to grow. Is what I'm is what I'm sensing. You had to make some changes, so you had to make some type of decision. All eyes are on you. And I feel like there could be jealousy, there could be envy. What's the devil here? Ooh. You got probably got a lot of haters. Okay. Watch out now. Be careful. You go have you gotta have a lot of people that act like they like you, but they could be wearing a false mask, okay? They could be wearing a false mask. Why is the Queen of Swords here? You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But see, let me tell you something. These two cards came right back out. Somebody, be careful now. You got to be careful what you show, what you say around certain people. Because people that's, that's acting like they like you, they really don't. And you may be deciding that you have to be cold or you have to, you know, speak your truth. Because I feel like... Somebody got is getting offended by by your success, okay? I feel like you're doing something that's big, and you got some haters. You got some haters. What action should Scorpios take? Okay, I got High Priestess of Air, 
Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but you're going to have to cut someone off or you're going to have to speak your truth, but you're going to have to show, be more logical and less with emotions when dealing with this situation. I feel like you're going to have to bring the warrior side out of you, okay? You're going to have to bring the warrior side out of you. I feel like you got some haters, okay? I feel like you got some real deal haters. These people smiling in your face, okay? These people are smiling in your face. Because you made a decision that was best for you. Okay. Why? Give me one more card. Give me another card. For Scorpio. What action should Scorpio take? We got forbidden. Ooh, forbidden. Damn. I want to see why. Something is forbidden. Oh, why is forbidden here? Why is forbidden here? Seven of Pentacles. Holding something in that you want to say. Okay, let's see. Forbidden. Let's see what it says directly from the book. Forbidden. All right. This is a warning. You about to enter a situation that will not be easy and could cause you or others pain. Forbidden also reminds you that although you may feel pain when someone rejects you, this is one of the ways of protecting you, okay? This is another symbol to move on and choose another path. Wow. Okay. Why is seven of pentacles here? It's telling you to be patient, okay? Yeah. Something here about wait, wait, wait something out. Wait to take action on something. Wait to take action. Okay, well, you got to be real smart. You got to be on top of your game and you got to, you got to move, you got to move in a way that is not so, um, that's not as, oh, we know what's next. Oh, we know what he going to do next. We know what she going to do next. You got to be real strategic. Okay. You got to be real strategic, strategic. Okay. Because we got five wands, 10 of pentacles. Somebody could be trying to attack your your finances or attack your reputation okay be careful scorpios because why is um hot pieces of air there's a marriage i'm telling you we got you could be dealing with the libra or taurus but I'm picking up for some of you guys. There is a marriage here. It's somebody's feeling like somebody should wait. Okay. So there's a waiting period. To get married. Somebody feels like somebody should wait. Or you feel like you need to wait. Huh. Interesting. Let's see what advice. What advice is that for Scorpio?
We have heightened intuition. Be extra aware of your inner knowingness as is trustworthy. Trust your intuition. Okay. Don't don't not listen to yourself. <laughs> that funny feeling that you get when you're around somebody, trust that. <laughs> pay attention. Okay. Pay attention. That's something that you need to pay attention to. Okay. Or even just when you're dealing or around a group of people or in in a certain situation, just you can feel your way through that. Okay. Trust your intuition. It does not lie. All right. So if this message helped any one of you, hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, share with your family and your friends. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Okay. Until next time. Ciao for now.